opener of our transcribed show of April the 17th, two weeks ago tonight. The young high school student from Gardner, New York, who played Sugar Blues on the trumpet, Roger Thorpe. Well, Roger, was it worth waiting two weeks to get the good news? I'd have waited a year, Mr. Mack, if I had to. Yeah. <laughs> but if I can win two more times and get on that Madison Square Garden deal, well, I'll be the luckiest guy in town. <laughs> Well, be a, uh, you got a lot of people saying the same thing. Uh, let me see now. What, do you, what, uh, what were you going to play for, sir? Well, I'm going to play Sugar Blues. Same thing you did play. Yes, All right. Good luck to you now. <laughs> Is that the same trumpet you were playing the other night? No, Mr. Mack. I thought you you had a gold one. This is a silver one. What, well, what happened? Well, I did. We had a little accident down in the... What happened? Downstairs, and it fell off, and I damaged my first key, and I had to... Where'd you get this minute. one? Well, we got off a... Well, I don't know exactly where we got it off of, but we got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's wonderful. I'm glad you got it off of somebody. <laughs> it's first time you played it? Well, yes, just now. All right. Well, you did all right. That was Roger Thorpe. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's good. <laughs> yes, the broken trumpet. The broken trumpet. Same no. You the other night? No, Mr. Mack. I thought you you had a gold one. This is a silver one. Well, what happened? I did. We had a little accident down in the. What happened? At the screen maker. Fell off and I damaged my first key and I had to. Where'd you get this one? Fell off and I don't know exactly where we got it off of, but we got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's wonderful. I'm glad you got it off of somebody. <laughs> first, first time you played it? Well, yes, just now. All right. Well, you did all right. That's that was right. I never played the horn before. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's oh my saying. God. <laughs> you were right. Oh my God. I remember that night. It was like it was yesterday. And the kid next to me, we were downstairs in the NBC studio. We were sitting in a circle and getting last minute instructions. The kid next to me got up and his knee hit the end of my horn, knocked it on the floor, cement floor. The mouthpiece went one way and the trumpet went the other. And the first thing I did was touch the valves on it. Oh boy. And the show was going to start like in 45 minutes. And I called Mr. Schoonmaker, who was a dear, dear guy. And he was Mr. Max, Ted Max, right hand man. He said, So he's going out of phone. Okay, Roger, we don't, let's not worry about it. I don't, I don't know what I can do. So he called all these different shows that were going on TV. You got a guy with a trumpet section, then he's like a trumpet tonight, or then you call the nightclubs. And then he got on the phone and he said, come on with me. We ran out of the studio and he held the cab down. And we drove all through these back streets in New York City. And we stopped at this dilapidated, well, it wasn't dilapidated, it was just dark street at an apartment. And he said, come with me. And we ran up these steps 
on the top of the steps they could hear this cornet and we knocked at the door and the guy said hi I'm from the Ted Mack show okay here it is here and he took the the trumpet out of the kid's hand. He was getting a private lesson. <laughs> it was a little cornet I never played before. And he put it in the case and he said, we have to, I said, let's go. So off we went down the stairs, hopped in the cab, zipped back, and like I got ran down to the front row and pulled in, because the whole, all the contestants were all lined up in the front of the theater in the front rows, you know, there was 16 of us, or five or eight, 12, I don't know. And so I never had a chance to even blow the thing. And I didn't even, I never played the damn thing. And I couldn't use my mouthpiece because my mouthpiece wouldn't fit in this cornet. It was a little silver cornet. And I put it on my, I started to play it and I thought, here it goes. And it was the first time I ever played that thing was right live on the front of Ted Mack. So. Oh my God. <laughs> Yay. Uh, Good start. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> what a wonderful gift. Oh, that was so exciting. And, the, and being in the green room, and the Chesterfields was the uh, the sponsor. Oh, I can tell such stories about that when I put the makeup on. And they gave, me, they gave me my own room. I had my own dressing room with lights all down the side. And I was like, oh, God, this is like the real McCoy. And so I had to go to makeup. Everybody had a team tech back show, go to makeup. So you know that story, don't you? Tell it anyway. Anyway, I ran down the, I walked down there and here the makeup guys had all the different contestants being made up. So I said, and then putting the makeup on the eye rouge and the face, everything. And he says, now when you get back, put this cold cream on. I said, okay, no problem. So I ran back to my my uh, star room, <laughs> and I thought he meant when I got back. Put this cold cream on. Ah. So I start putting this cold cream on, <laughs> and my face was a mess. It was shiny, greasy with a. And so I said, "God, is this what? I mean, this is what they need for TV. You know, this is might be what they. That's what off. they know. You know, but so I thought, God, I look like hell. Oh God, the makeup was all over the place. So I went back. <laughs> Oh, look at me, Jesus Christ, what did you, you tell me to put this on when I got back to my room? I said, I meant after the show, you <laughs> dummy. <laughs> <not after." laughs> so he had to take it all off with the table, and he put the whole thing back on again. <laughs> and then I stood behind the stage, and I was frightened. And who stood next to me, but you wouldn't have known, but he was so famous. And was, his name was Dennis James, remember he was the... Yeah, the announcer, right. oh, it was a very, and he said, New York is going to love you, Raj, New York, because I thought that was kind of nice, you know, I didn't know if it <laughs> But I remember they called me back and said, it went Ted Mack, I was wondering if it was the first or second show, because I did a TV show on one night and the radio show on another night. I don't know, whatever happened to the trumpet? Well, what a, what a lovely gift. Thank you for <laughs> okay, now what we're all amazed about is how you sound like somebody straight out of West Side Story. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sound, does your voice sound odd to you? Well, it was 75 years ago. <laughs> it's like a real, it's a real Long Island well, it was accent. A Long Island. I was a Long Island boy then. No, actually I'd lived in well, Gardner for about two still years. Have a New York accent. Well, even today I do. Yeah, are you looking at me? Oh, there you have it. 